Alrighty, alrighty, Beast Moon Monster Mayhem is live. This one runs from, what is today? It's the 21st of February until the 27th of February, 2023. Let's check it out. Currently, I'm already in the Beast Moon Pavilion, but if you're not already there, click on the special event tower icon, click on the event, and this one you can click teleport to event and it'll take you right here. Don't forget the event that just ended, the decathlon in this case, you have until Friday of this week to redeem anything you've earned. And of course, every point that you earn on these weekly events goes towards your scroll of fortune. And there's only one week left. One week. Oh, indeed, indeed. And especially if you don't purchase the Scroll of Fortune, make sure you redeem anything that you've earned. There is tons of free stuff. Anything in the green is free, so grab it. This be the Monster Mayhem event, which is the PvE version. The Us versus the Monsters. A team of six players against a whole plethora of creatures. Ah. This is also a timed event, so yeah. Make sure that you try and get things done as quick as possible, and especially in Monster Mayhem, communicate with your team. Please. <laughs> How do you get points? Winning a combat is unlimited. You get two points each. Defeating a beast is one point per rank, also unlimited amount. Leveling up any beast form. You can get credit for up to five per day at 10 points each for a total of 50 points. And harvesting a plant, you can get credit for up to 10 per day at one point each for 10 points only on that one. What you gonna win? You get some Beast Moon Seeds, some Eldritch Thread, Tasty Harvest Treasure Cards. Don't be like me. Before you collect this, make sure you have room in your treasure cards because even though they're gardening treasure cards, they still count as total amount of treasure cards. You don't wanna miss out on those. Those are definitely valuable. Some Beast Moon Needles. What's this month's pet? Ooh, it's the Molten Tar. <laughs> I love it. Solar Aegis. Wow, look at that. Absorb 300 for two whole pippers. It's a sun spell. How nice. So just saying, if you get, I don't know, a fire dispel, you can still use it. Elemental Retriever, Fire Shot, and more. And then this one gives you the Spellament Upgraded Fire Cat, the one that gives a detonate. Nice. And that one is for 200 points. And then you get some more Beast Moon Needles, some Lunari. Most importantly, you can only get these in the Monster Mayhem, Moon Gold Dust. Yes, very, very important stuff. And then finally for 500 points, you get some Spellaments. I actually got to redeem those for the first time in over a year. And last time I got 25 Spellaments, five each of five different Spellaments. All right, A. So number one thing to do as soon as you get in here, even if you're not doing any Beast Moon, Please collect this quest from Melia Greetings. Since I cannot partake in the hunt myself, I'd like to offer you an extra incentive to defeat the bosses you'll already be fighting. Sound good? Absolutely. Excellent. I have the means to make this a weekly recurrence. So you get Moon Gold Dust <laughs> for completing hunting. his quest, which is defeating the bosses. The good thing is you don't have to defeat all three in the same match to be able to get those. Next up, most important, the Beast Moon Crafting Station, which is only available during Monster Mayhem. All right, we got some fireplaces uh, that you can craft. By the way, you can get these from the packs for gold. Just saying, just saying. But if you really have way too many moonstones, obviously not I, then you could spend them on these. You can get Essence of Fire this round. This one gives you accuracy, damage, and an extra starting pip at tier three. By the way, no PvP, no decathlon, no sell, no trade. All right, but most importantly is those gold idols. This is what you need to unlock the form so you can use it forever. Fire Minotaur gold idol, Ice Elf gold idol, and Storm Colossus. Clearly this is gonna be an elemental monster mayhem. You need three of the particular idol from that school and then 10 moon gold dust to craft one of these. That's why the moon gold dust is so important. You can get up to six from Meliager for completing his quests of defeating the first, second, and third bosses in Monster Mayhem. And then once you get up to here, 425 points, you get four more. That's a total of 10. If you're able to defeat the third and final boss and get 425 points, you've got yourself an automatic gold idol. And also you can craft treasure cards. Why would you want to craft these silly treasure cards? Because some of them like Inferno Salamander are impossible to get. You cannot get these like hardly anywhere. This is the only place to get them and you need them for crafting the spell elements to upgrade these spells. And they cost 10 Hunter's Moonstone, eight elemental and four fire in this case, 
It would be for storm, for a storm spell, for harmonious, for a balance spell, etc. But the rest of these are pretty easy to get. Just not Inferno Salamander and not Monster Mash. And the good thing is, Moon Gold Dust is tradable between your wizards. You can just put that in the shared bank and you are good. Ah, the Beast Form upgrades. Lots and lots of forms to explore. And you can upgrade their levels. You can upgrade their tiers here. And you can also look at all of the different spells so you can see what they do. And you can also talk to Artemis New Moon, who's got a nice narrated tutorial. It's so cute, honestly. I love it. Also, with Beast Moon, you can either join solo or you can join as a group. The good thing is you don't have to be a group of six to join. You can be a group of as little as two players to join. And I believe this one is supposed to be the Celestia map, but we'll see. Woohoo! So this time I'm joining with a team. And see, one member of the team just enters your group into the Beast Moon Hunt. And wow, we're ready to go already. Let's do it. And because I have a lot of forms upgraded already, I get special 10 special event points on the screen only for each one of those forms. And we can't really see what they are by pressing tab, but you can look on the map here and see what they are. So a lot of storm and balance. Okay, so you can look over here and see who fights storm ice. Let's go team, let's go. Okay, there's already two on the bottom. So let's go to the blue. The blue takes you to the top. 2v2, always important to communicate with your team. Squibbies, I'm gonna give this to you because it's a stun block and that's a rotten little storm. Alrighty, so 225, it's gone, 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 squid. Haha, <laughs> wow, you see that? That was Blade Aura. Oh, you're dead. And you can't stun me. You can't stun me. Ooh, figured that. Ouch. Uh, can I please have something other than sh 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 shield type? Booge! Ha 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 Take that, Squibby. <laughs> it looks so mad. <laughs> and because this is Monster Mayhem and it's timed, you want to try and get rid of all these critters super fast. Oh! Okay. So you swapped it. Nice! Nice! Ha <laughs> ha! And time clam cometh. You need to find the time clam to add two minutes to your round. Luckily, there's one of those each wave. And each wave, as it gets harder, you get a little bit more time. Unfortunately, the time clam only gives you two minutes each time. You don't get more the next round. So use your time wisely. Battles. Okay, I always run straight into that teleporter and fill up on my pips and my health and run right back. Go, go, go to the spiral. There's a coin clam over here. This will replenish your battle coins. Fire boss. We don't want that one. The good thing about this one is unlike the Beast Spoon Hunt, if you leave, then another teammate can come in here and assist. But you can only join a battle once. If you get defeated and have to leave, you cannot come back to the same battle. And also, you will lose your beast form for the entire thing. Not cool. And those outside battles are very important. They give boosts to the players who are fighting in the spiral. They could be blades. They could be hits. They could be shields. They can be heals. Just depends on which beast moon you're doing. It's also important to let the team on the outside know what type of boss it is on the inside. Because just say it's a boss that likes to steal shields or blades, you may not want to put shields and blades on right away. It's also important to communicate with your team if you're close to finishing the boss because you also don't want to be using up extra time. Oh boy, look at that. The one thing that's really bad in Monster Mayhem, especially with the elemental ones, is the incessant fire spamming. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, let's go. Because those DOTs waste a lot of time if they're on everybody. Yes, yes, yes. No, we wasted our time. We almost had it. <laughs> Yay, I got 554 points. No, I didn't. I got 28 points for this match. There we go. And because we didn't defeat the boss, we get nothing. However, you do get a few runes, which why, oh why? Please stop. We don't need runes, we need moonstones. Yes. Woo! Oh, 
Oh, good. They ended the exact same time. Awesome, awesome. Okay, fill up my health. Oh, maybe not. Fill up. Wow, I got nothing. Nothing at all. Wow. And by the way, when you defeat the bosses, you get runes. Yeah, basement seed. Balance moonstone. Another basement seed. Inferno salamander. Spellament. And some lunari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yourself some blades. Whatever. By the way, the leftover time carries over. Thank you. Thank you. Got a fatty blade. Yes. You're welcome. I'm on the outside team too because you're amazing. Yes. Yes. What is that noise? Okay. Yeah, we got some stuff. Time clam is please. So this time we got a frost feather and an iron curse. We got two spell elements that time. And the clock of death is counting down. Not going to win this third and final match, but we did get a lot more points this time. Let's see. We got some seeds and we got some thread. Nice. And now we got enough points to get the treasure cards. One, two, three. Your hasty harvest treasure cards. All right. Let's harvest these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine because I already harvested one of my beastman seeds in a different house. But there's all my special event points for this one. And so I got all of them for leveling up the beast form for the beast forms I already had upgraded. I didn't actually level any up today. And then harvesting the plants. Alrighty, we didn't get all three of them, so he's still got a question mark over his head, but let's collect the ones we did get. Well done, Hunter! One well moon gold dust. Indeed. And two moon gold dust. So right now we have three out of the ten required to craft a gold idol. Thanks so much everyone for checking out this quick look at the Beast Moon Monster Mayhem event that just started, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!